In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Star Wars The Vintage Collection Bad Batch 4 pack. Hi there, Star Wars collectors, and welcome to another Boss Bounty video. And as I mentioned in the intro, we're going to be taking a look at the Star Wars The Vintage Collection Bad Batch 4 pack, and we're going to be doing it all in one video. I'm going to open up all four figures in this video for you to take a look at and I'm going to review them and let you know my thoughts. I actually managed to pick up this four pack before Christmas but I didn't get a chance to review it with various things going on in my life and I did get this one from Amazon and it actually shipped. I bought two so they shipped in a box and both of them were in the white shipper boxes as well which means I was actually quite lucky because I do know that some people got them in all different types of ways of them being shipped so some people actually got this scent like that with a shipping label on it which is probably the worst other people got them in the white shippers with the label stuck on the white shipper me I was very lucky because I ordered two maybe I don't know that I got them sent in a Amazon cardboard box with both in the shipper and then as well there's another scenario as well People got them sent like this, but within a brown box, which means somebody's actually bothered to take them out of the white shipper, which is just beyond weird. But this is the Bad Batch 4 pack, and as I say, we're going to be opening them all up. So let's just take a quick look at the outer packaging first off. So this is a four pack, very much like the three pack that we got with the Skiff Guards a couple of years ago. I love the way they do this, very vintage Kenner. And as you can see there, we've got some more figures from the line on the top. If we spin it around, there's some really, really nice artwork there or with an image straight from the show there with their shuttle, which is pretty cool. Now, of course, <laughs> none of these guys go in that shuttle, do they? Because we don't actually have the actual Bad Batch crew, the Clone Force 99 or whatever they're called. We've got some other figures, but there are a couple in here that I'm really intrigued to take a look at, especially him. And we're going to be opening up him first and I'll, I'll show you why in a second. Not too much going on with the side of the box, but it's a nice box. It's in nice condition, my one. Might have a little bit of a, a mark going on on the hanger tab there, some white markings, but at the end of the day, I'm gonna be opening this one up anyway, so it doesn't really matter, but can't really do a lot about that. It was in a white shipper sealed, so I guess you just get what you get. All right then, so here they are out of the packaging, and although they have been in that packaging, they're not in what I would call absolute mint condition. So if we take a look at Clone Captain Rex, for example, you can see that the card is ever so slightly bent, but that would be able to be sorted out with a heavy book or something. But as you can see there on the hanger tab, there is a slight little mark. They're a little bit dusty as well. So with that there, that, that is not mint condition. You will also notice that they are unpunched, which is the first time that we've had unpunched figures since probably Yak Face in the sail barge, I want to say. So that's pretty good. So yeah, I wouldn't necessarily say that they are mint condition, but they are in good enough condition, I guess. And I'm gonna be opening these anyway, so I don't really care. But of course, I do have another set which I want to open to then have them all individually carded. And if they're gonna be coming out like that, and if you were maybe even wanting to send them off to be graded, you know, there's a bit of a mark there as well, that would get a, a ding on the score. Just checking the glue on there, the glue seems fine. So there you go, there's Clone Captain Rex. Anyway, we're gonna open them up individually. I'll do it as quickly as I possibly can so this video doesn't drag on too long, but please hang around until the end so you've got to see all of the figures. All right, so let's start with this guy here. All right then, so the reason I wanted to start with this one is because this was possibly my favorite character from the show. This is Clone Captain Ballast, but I think he actually got renamed uh, Captain Hauser in the show. And I really like this character because he was kind of conflicted in what was going on with the Empire and everything. You could tell he wasn't too happy with the way people were being treated and things like that. And I think maybe in the second season, if he's still around, I can't even remember if he died or not, but if he's still around, I think he may sort of maybe even turn or something like that. I don't know, but that's what I got from the show anyway. And that is clone Captain Ballast. And look at that card back. What a fantastic image that is. And I just love the markings and the colors on this guy. So this is one that I really wanted to review first. You may have thought that Captain Rex would have been first, but to be honest, I've got some pretty harsh criticisms about that figure, but I will be coming on to him next. But this is Clone Captain Ballast or Hauser. He is VC 210 in the line. You can see the other figures on the back of the card there, all four from the four pack and then the previous wave of IG 11, Tebow, etc. But he's looking pretty cool in that bubble. So 
Let's get him open and take a look. All right then, so here he is out of the packaging. This is Clone Captain Ballast or Ballast or Hauser as he's been renamed. Obviously Hasbro didn't get the memo in time for that one, but uh, must have been renamed very, very late on indeed. But as you can see, he's a really, really good looking figure. Now, of course, if you're wondering where you've seen that body before, I've said it many times, they're just using the VC45 clone body which I've always thought looks a lot better with the uh, phase one helmet rather than phase two. But this is what we're stuck with. But, I, you know, they're still great figures. It's not a huge deal. It's just, unfortunately, with the phase two, the helmets are always on the larger side. When the figure's got a pauldron on, it doesn't make it look so bad, I guess. But he's looking pretty good. I love the markings on the helmet of this guy. And that sort of paint flicks and everything, scratches and everything on his armor really really good there loving this one yeah so this is probably my favorite of the four and if we just take a look at the head sculpts we'll take the helmet off so there's the helmet in in closer detail nice phase two helmet decent white color as well so that's a good thing and there's the head sculpt now these figures head sculpts are fantastic of course, they use the same head sculpt as the ones used for the Clone 3-pack, the Arc Trooper 3-pack. But this guy's got his own sort of hairstyle. He's got that buzz cut at the side there, which is a slightly different colour to the top. And the top sort of combed back. One huge criticism of this figure is, without the helmet on, this just rattles around like nobody's business. So if you want to display him with the helmet off, which with this guy I kind of want to, then you're going to have to sort of balance that a bit because, you know, that is not great. But look, he looks great. Really, really nice head sculpt there. Great features. So that's the first one. That is Clone Captain Ballast. Moving on to Clone Captain Rex. And this one of the four was probably the one that most people were looking forward to, I would guess, because it is Captain Rex at the end of the day and he's got a cool looking poncho and everything like that. But as I said earlier, there's some flaws of this figure that I'm not happy with at all. And we'll, we'll take a look at that in a second. But the card back's decent enough. He looks pretty good there with that poncho on. Looking pretty decent. Nice card back with the Bad Batch logo and everything like that. He is VC 208 in the line. And uh, yeah, let's just get it open and take a look. All right then, so here he is, Captain Rex, out of the packaging. And let's get straight onto it. That hairstyle is, it's just not Captain Rex, is it? It's just, what is going on there? Of course, it's probably the right color, I guess. Could be maybe a bit lighter, but that just does not look like Captain Rex because of that hairstyle. And I think, again, it was probably some early concept art that Hasbro got. And then of course they changed it later on in the show. Maybe he grew his hair out a little bit, but that does not look like Captain Rex, unfortunately. But the rest of the figure is is really, really good. His poncho looks great. He's got the separate piece there or a different color piece there for his sort of scarf part or hood, which looks good. The paintwork on the figure looks good, which we're going to take a look at in a minute when we take off that poncho. But you can just see some of the markings on his legs and things like that, which look pretty good. He does have a soft goods karma, which is always very good. So yeah, let's take off the poncho and take a closer look. So the hood part, I just literally took off of his head and it's actually sewn on to the back of this piece, which is which is pretty good. I do like that. So if you want to put that back on, so you could have his hood up like that, which disguises his hair a little bit and it fits in pretty, pretty good. So once again, we'll just take that off like that. And then you've got the rest of the poncho, which should just lift off. So you're going to need to lift up the arms to get this off. So there you go, he looks pretty good like that. Now, of course, we do have this piece here, which again, rattles around a little bit. And from what I understand, this also isn't accurate to the TV show. Again, it was concept art, which Hasbro got, and obviously they didn't update it in time. But the Soft Goods Karma is pretty cool there. He does have the holsters for his pistols, which I'm sure will work pretty well. We'll check that out in a minute. But I do love the paintwork on this figure. You can see that he's got all of those kill marks all the way down his arm there and down there and some on his legs and with the blue and everything it's a really nice blue he looks great so without the poncho he looks good with the poncho he looks good but where he doesn't look good is with the helmet on 
and this is my major major gripe about this figure and that is because the helmet comes with this visor now the visor does articulate so you can have it like that if you want but the problem is what happens if you wanted to display the figure without the visor now as you can see it's on these little clips on the side here and the problem is is that one is that the rangefinder is attached to that piece and the clips remain which is just man that's just how long have we waited for a decent captain rex and they, they go and do that i i just do not understand that um i don't think these come out they don't they they're molded on and for me you know that is how i'd want to display my captain rex a definitive captain rex would be like that but you can't because of those so i guess you could get an exacto knife or a stanley knife as we call them in the uk and slice those off it means you're never going to be able to put this piece back on and of course as i mentioned the rangefinder is actually a piece on that piece so you no longer have the rangefinder on the helmet like that the paintwork itself on the helmet's really good you can see all those markings and everything you've got the kill kill markings there nice paintwork on the front really good looks great but those things i mean it just looks like a frankenstein's monster to be honest uh, just just bizarre so so that for me is a huge letdown and for me that's why the clone captain ballast is my favorite figure you know if, if the helmet was done right on this one this would be hands down the best figure especially with the poncho and hood and everything but because of this piece here i don't know i just can't understand why they've done that there's his little pistols let's just do the test quickly just to make sure they fit in the holster and they don't come out they look pretty good so that's good so you can have those in the holster nicely so as i said we've waited a long time for a captain rex and you know this is their second attempt now we got the one in the vintage collection which was a repack from the 3.75 inch black series which was you know really not a great figure in terms of today's standards didn't have a removable helmet this one has the removable helmet but with not an accurate hairdo and the helmet has the visor thing so i think hasbro have still got work to do with getting us a proper captain rex next up we have clone captain gray and another decent card back this one this one always reminds me of the 501st legion card back it's very similar running style that they've got the image there of clone captain gray this character featured in the first episode of the bad batch and was was pretty awesome i've got to say and, and i immediately thought when i saw that episode that wouldn't it be so cool if we did get a figure of that clone captain gray because he looked awesome and here he is we've actually got him which is fantastic he is vc 209 in the line really nice card back loving the greens and everything and there he is so let's let's crack him open and, and take a look all right then so here he is clone captain gray out of the packaging and another really really nicely painted bucket there really really nice markings i absolutely love this one um I, I do think that maybe the green that they've used isn't as accurate as it could be to the show i think it was a lot lighter almost like a neon green but i still love it i still think it looks great he's got the green on his pole there and on the helmet slightly different green to what they've used on his forearms there and the stripes on his arms and he's got the stripes on his legs there as well but what a what a fantastic looking clone and of course when you've got them all together these are going to look fantastic carded collectors are going to love them and obviously loose collectors as well these are going to look amazing next to any clone army that you that you have so um there he is of course not too much different to the other ones because it's using the same body so i'm not going to go through any of the articulation or anything like that because essentially it's just vc 45 clone trooper but Let's take a look at the head sculpt of this guy. There he is. Looks like all the others that we have, like uh, Fives and Echo and things like that. In fact, I think that's pretty much the same haircut as Rex, but just painted black. But there he is. Really nice one, that one. And um, can't really criticize this one at all. I think it looks great. And the helmet as well really good paint job on the helmet there he is so if you love clones i can't see you not enjoying this one and finally from the four we have the elite squad trooper 
Now this one was a bit of a surprise. I love the look of this one, by the way. I love the sort of graphite gray that they've gone for essentially. It's like an off gray, really, really nice. And look at that for a card back. He looks absolutely amazing sitting there. Really, really good. Elite Squad Trooper. He is VC211, which is the same number that they've given to the Spider Pack, which is an error. So hopefully that Spider Pack will be changed. They seem to be making these mistakes quite a lot with the numberings, but some people would say that that makes them more collectible. So especially this guy anyway. Um, there he is in the bubble, looking pretty good. One thing to note as well, that none of these bubbles have the paper inside because there's no need to show warnings on these because they're pre-packed within a pack which is pretty good. So for carded collectors, these are going to look even better on the wall. Okay, so the Elite Squad Trooper out of the packaging. He's got that lovely sort of green visor there going on, which looks really, really good. That shines away in the light. But he's, yeah, he's he's like a graphite grey. He's almost like a tinge of blue coming through there, I, I guess. But he's a decent looking figure. I really like him. And, if, you know, if you had a few of these and a little army, they would look amazing together, I'm sure. Um... Obviously just complete repaint again of VC45. And what's different with this figure to the other three is that it doesn't have a removable helmet. If you take the helmet off, you'll see that there's like a fake head inside which is glued in there. So you can't really take that out. Plonk it back on and there you go. So these are the Elite Squad Troopers. Somebody will have to let me know in the comments down below if they're clones or not. I can't really remember. But still, he's looking pretty, pretty awesome. Comes with this uh, blaster rifle here. The other accessory that he comes with is a little pistol. This is the same pistol that Captain Rex has two of, but this guy doesn't have a holster, so I'm not really gonna be using that because I want my Elite Squad Trooper to use this blaster rifle here. He looks pretty cool with that. Um, I will be able to get that in both hands when I play around with the posability a bit more, but I just wanted to show you the figure because he, he looks great. So there you go then, guys. That's all four figures from the Bad Batch four pack for the Vintage Collection. Some really good things in here, but also some pretty awful things. And unfortunately, it always comes down to Captain Rex, which is which is a big shame. I did feel it was a bit weird him being in this four pack anyway. He's quite a sought after character and, and putting him in a four pack that not everybody has access to or wants necessarily is a bit of a strange one to me. So I do hope when Hasbro get round to doing Captain Rex again in the vintage collection on a single card out of the pack, they address some of the issues that I've brought up, namely this. This is... This is the thing that really lets this figure down. Poncho's great, don't get me wrong. But there you go then, guys. That is the Bad Batch 4 pack. I hope you've enjoyed the review. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Did you manage to pick this up yet? I do believe guys in the US may not have got yours yet. We seem to have got them in the UK, which is pretty cool. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Are you going to be getting it? Are you waiting for your order to arrive? What do you think of the figures? And namely, what, what do you think of Captain Rex? Let me know. All right then, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I want to say a massive thank you to all my Patreon supporters and channel members. Your support is greatly appreciated. Thank you so much for watching this video. And we shall see you on the next one.